For those of you that are predicting a market crash, consider this, black swan events can work in reverse to Talib theory. You can have an unexpected events that triggers positive outcome for the economy and society. But this is only positive for the elite and the Fed. Main Street is not benefiting from these rallies or the stock markets being at all-time highs. For those of you that believe that you need to get boots on the ground and see what really is going on. People are hurting. Going broke etc. And like it was mentioned almost everyone on Main Street has nothing to invest in Wall Street. The Japanese asset price bubble was an economic bubble in Japan from 1986 to 1991 in which real estate and stock market prices were greatly inflated. In early 1992, this price bubble burst and Japan's economy stagnated. The bubble was characterized by rapid acceleration of asset prices and overheated economic activity, as well as an uncontrolled money supply and credit expansion. More specifically, overconfidence and speculation regarding asset and stock prices were closely associated with excessive monetary easing policy at the time. Through the creation of economic policies that cultivated the marketability of assets, eased the access to credit, and encouraged speculation, the Japanese government started, prolonged and exacerbated the Japanese asset price bubble. This is more like 2007 heading into the housing bubble of 2008-09. Japan owned the world in the 1980s and could do no wrong. Everybody wanted to be like Japan. Until it all came crashing down. We are next. The response to the 2008 crisis was not a public works campaign like in 1932, which injected money into the broader economy by putting people to work and paying wages. Instead of the asset purchases, interest rate suppression, bailouts, and regulatory largesse strictly benefited corporations and the banking sector. The money is essentially firewalled off in a small part of the economy, benefiting only the so-called 1%. As a result, M2 velocity is at a historic low. There are no channels for it to flow to the general economy to benefit the populace. Neither does it circulate in the economy, so a portion can be taxed and used by the public sector to provide service and repair infrastructure. This has been going on literally since Fed's creation in 1913 shifted into high gear when Nixon closed the gold window in 1971, and is now balls to the wall to fend off QE side effects like recession, deflation, and to discount federal debt. Obviously, if the public had any real notion of why this was happening and what it was really doing to them, there would be tires burning in every intersection. The great inflation must be done on the QT, hence, PSYOP low CPI. Imagine a world where the dollar remained pegged to gold. Since Nixon left the gold standard, the dollar has lost three quarters of its purchasing power. The peg would probably have been moved a few times, but even if the dollar had been devalued by 500%, it would still have eight or nine times the purchasing power it has today. The process of inflation strips the dollar of the value it had when we earned it and transfers these gains to the first users of the new dollars. Spoiler alert. That group is a big club, and we ain't in it. Every day, everything 99% of folks use has gone through the roof in the past 20 years. Couple the price hikes with reduced quantities per unit hides, or so the idiots in power think it does, from the uninformed consumer. Thank goodness that they have not been shrinking package sizes to try and hide it from the consumer. Seriously, when this economy crashes, there's going to be some serious bullseyes on folks back that have been lying to the people for so long. Feeling inflation depends on your income bracket and class. If you are a billionaire, corporate director, a rich banker, or hedge fund manager fitting the 1% rich class that have more assets than the lower 90% of the population, of course, for those inflation is never a felt problem while living under subsidized QE helicopter money and artificial asset bubbles. Not to mention if one is a Harvard economics professor that writes the inflation algorithms to report inflation. But, if you fit the lower 90% class. Inflation is there and felt through food price, rent, gas, real estate, medical, stamps, etc. Plus not to mention the never-ending stationary service growing monthly fees that persist the system. Taxes and insurance burden. We are the frogs slowly being boiled alive. People on fixed incomes have been eviscerated over the past 30 years. It breaks my heart to see old people suffering while the piggish public servants and other protected groups live a high life. Also, you may notice that the .gov has stopped boasting about public service compensations. Yeah, well, if you get a chance to look at some compensation packages of our dearly beloved public servants, 
you will see that they are making way more than the private sector equivalents. We have a government that we can no longer afford, and they are lying through their teeth to us. The CPI is estimated by government employees. Do you expect accuracy? Between vacation and lunch breaks, there is no time in their busy schedules actually to work. I don't know about the rest of you, but it's getting mighty hot in my neck of the woods. It is a rigged system. Rob Peter to pay Paul. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. I have been anticipating a slowdown for a few years, but non-stop stimulation by governments and central banks has kept the economy growing. How long they can keep using one credit card to pay off another is anyone's guess, but we shouldn't underestimate their resolve. Even if near zero interest rates are losing their impact, there's still room for an increase in government spending. We already have a recession in place. It's just a matter of playing out in some of these other funny numbers. The reality is on the downside, where you have mixed pressures right now. People who are really concerned about the economy right now. The Fed created this circumstance. They are pushing for the economy on the upside because they want to continue to keep raising rates. Banks make more money with higher rates, and they are still trying to liquidate the problems they created when they bailed out the banking system back in 2008 millions of Americans were hurt. More than 8.7 million Americans lost their jobs. Between 2006 and 2014, close to 10 million American homes were lost to foreclosure. The financial crisis produced the longest recession in the post-World War II era. 2.5 million businesses closed down. Income inequality grew to the highest rate since the Great Depression. As of today, the top 0.1% of Americans are taking in 188 times the income of the bottom 90% of Americans. Today the world is in a new realm, digital, and no one knows the rules. Seventy years ago before the digital age, the power that be could only print, bonds, cash etc. Now with the digital age they can just put in a few hundred billion into the computer and press, enter. This recession will continue to be expanded until it explodes like we warned. There is no means of avoiding the final collapse of a boom brought about by credit expansion. The alternative is only whether the crisis should come sooner as the result of voluntary abandonment of further credit expansion, or later as a final and total catastrophe of the currency system involved. Starting to see people feeling the squeeze coming here. Angry expressions, blatant disregard for fellow human beings, crime increasing. Inflation in supermarkets at a blink of an eye, one week to the next. Increase in insurances, utilities and motor vehicle expenses. And hyperinflation begins by being subtle, it isn't about waking up one day and having to pay for bread with a basket full of money. You go to stores now and see gradual price increases everywhere, or prices are kept the same, but the size, quality of the product goes down. If the manufacturer keeps the price the same, but can get you to have to replace it within a shorter amount of time than before, it provides the same profit as a dramatic price increase. Stores routinely discount various items at a loss to make up for it with profits on other items which consumers feel they, must have, or, can't live without. But these essential items are all being manufactured much more poorly than in years past. We have had a rash of more lies coming out of the government. The latest lie of course were the unemployment figures, jobs growth which are made up of baby boomer stats. I.e. retiring and in deaths make up that ludicrous numbers. Maths does not lie. They have no choice but to lower rates or have a crash bigger than the Great Depression. However in lowering rates all our currencies will eventually go to zero value with huge inflation. In Australia another major bank has stopped reporting their derivative exposure. The largest bank, the Commonwealth stopped reporting derivative exposure in 2012. The suspicion is that they are using derivatives to hide losses. How many US banks have stopped reporting their derivatives? We have had the slow burn for 10 years but what will they blame the inevitable crash on? War? Terrorist attack on the internet or power grids? When we look around at the decline of America which gripped now by marijuana, opium and other narcotics it certainly doesn't suggest that everything is on the up which is not. All we can do is just prepare best we can, and watch the fireworks show aka the collapse of the debt-based monetary system. There's truly nothing more we can do. There is nobody in Washington DC or any bankers who will lift a finger to better the country. Only their balance sheets. 
This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.